Shocking defender. Oh my word! Oh, you've done it again! Good morning boys and girls, welcome back to another video on the channel. It's currently half past six in the morning, very early, but today is Ipswich away. Another massive, massive game today for Leicester in the Premier League in this relegation battle. It's the end of this mini run, which I've called season defining. Obviously, Southampton got the job done. Forest, not so much. Can Leicester get another win today at Ipswich? If you want to stay up in the Premier League, these are the type of games you have to be winning or an absolute minimum because it's away get at least a point today once again season defining for Leicester Ipswich is still in search of their first win of the season under Kieran McKenna in the Premier League 10 games into the season this will feel like a monumental game for Ipswich and of course it's huge for Leicester like I've already said now last time out was obviously Nottingham Forest at the King Power Stadium we were not great at all first half was all right but second half we didn't turn up at all and a response is needed today I'm going to stop waffling we've got a three hour train of us all the way to Ipswich so that should be fun hopefully Leicester make it worth it so yeah Let's get down there, or across there, I should say. Come on, Leicester. then just outside Portman Road behind me as you can see three hours on the train weren't too bad in the end but like, like I said it's a massive game in terms of the Premier League table today a win for Ipswich can take them outside of the relegation zone which would be absolutely massive for Kieran McKenna's side obviously in search their first win of the Premier League season a win for Leicester could take us as high as 10th which would be absolutely mental considering about 10 games into the season so yeah like I said big game for both sides in terms of the league table so big games going on today to, as well today Southampton versus Everton as well so lots can change in terms of the Premier League table but yeah finally in Ipswich about 12 o'clock now so lots of time for kick off and hopefully Leicester can get the job done today. Just on the way down to the ground then, pints for £7.50 in the pool, which was absolutely crazy. But team news, the other side of it, it's absolutely perfect. Justin Drop, Christensen back in, Ricardo in once again, Vitaru back in despite some injury doubts. So perfect team. Let's hope we can get the job done. Steffi out wide as well, so Winks in midfield as well. So all in all, absolutely perfect spawn. Hopefully the players can, can do the job now. Inside the ground, then prediction joke. Maybe yeah. a bit of tie game. Yeah. I think that's the bit of 3 2. 3 2. I think, I think we'll win 2 1. Team's very good. Here we go then. Come on, let's start. Right, 
Sorry, you can start on the front foot. Come on. Oh! Oh! Come on! First shot from Abdul. Good save by Murek. That's the corner. Still in front of the back. We've been on top and we just give them an easy chance. Can't play out of the Premier League. When an say goes through to say well, we're in on top so far. We need to, we need to get the leads. Oh, <laughs> Don't let him cut him, I you do. Right in. Started so well, but one mistake and we just fell apart. We ain't going at him anymore. Oh, crap. <laughs> Big chance. Far post still on picks him up. We've been far too complacent at the back. We been alright going forward, but I don't know what's happened since the last 10 minutes. Oh. Oh. Defensively, we're all over the shot. Seconds every second ball was just, just not good. First half. Pretty awful. Second half, we need to respond quickly because still we don't know. We still got a chance. It's not like Southampton, where we got a two-goal deficit. Get out of them second half and get the three points. Go on. Oh. That's all. I want to stay at Leicester, the best team in the land. Shocking defender. Gives the ball away, the score from straight away. Oh. Seconds just to every every single department of football we've been all off it. Three. Calvin Phillips sent off. 15 minutes, can we get back into it? Massive chance now. Southampton away flashbacks, come on. Come on, Leicester! Come on, Leicester! Oh! 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 Come on, Leicester! get back! Oh! It's better from Leicester, but five minutes left, but like it's too late. We've just not been at it all game until these last five minutes after sending off. It's just.
And there we go then, back from Portman Road, Ipswich 1, Leicester City 1. It feels like a win for Leicester. For Ipswich fans, it's probably going to feel like a loss because, believe me, I did not think Leicester were going to get anything from that game up to about the 75th minute or so, obviously, when Calvin Phillips went off and then Leicester started to finally penetrate in the final third. But, yeah, overall, I hate to be negative, but Leicester were quite poor once again. Like I said, I didn't think we were going to get anything from the game. We didn't really show anything at all. I thought we were a bit open towards the back and just didn't really have any control of the game apart from a good spell in the first 15, 20 minutes or so. But, once again, Leicester come back, show that fighting spirit on the road, which is going to be crucial this season. That's obviously four points from Southampton and Ipswich away from home. I think that's quite reasonable. Obviously, Ipswich, you know, is always going to be a tough game. Villa have gone there and picked up a draw. Fulham have gone there and struggled and got a draw as well. So it's not the worst of results. I definitely feel like we probably could have got the win if we carried on how we started the game because I thought we were the, the, the dominant side in the first 15 or, 15 or so minutes. But then again, it's always going to be tough. Ipswich, obviously, are going to be moaning about the referee and whatnot. I thought the referee was really poor for both sides. To, to be perfectly honest is it a penalty or not I don't think it is I think it'd be very soft I think you know you can argue it either way um, I think the goal we scored there's no fouls in there if you're giving them fouls from Samore you know football's done so yeah in my opinion I don't think I'll be, I don't think I'm even being biased on that one I don't think they're fouls at all reflection of the game or so would a point have been deserved maybe it absolutely must probably not in my opinion I thought Leicester were quite lucky once again to get a point on the ball but then again so far this season is it luck or is it you know does it come down to something else because there's so many times I feel like you know the stats are all against us the players against us and Leicester come through and manage to get something from the game which is going to be vital 10 points on the ball now for Leicester which works out at exactly a point per game which should be enough to keep us up so if that happens uh, if we get 38 points to keep us up I will take that so yeah hopefully we can keep it going but yeah if you enjoyed the vlog make sure to go and drop a like subscribe as well to the channel if you haven't already Leicester fans Ipswich fans let me know your thoughts on that game in the comment section down below. Manchester United away next up in the Premier League before another international break. So I'll see you boys at Old Trafford on Sunday, which is going to be a very tough one as well. But you never know with Leicester. Stranger, stranger things have happened. I'll see you then up the Leicester.